An event expected to bring in a couple million dollars to Bryan College Station community is still happening even with the threat of chilly weather. 25 News reporter Hannah King takes us to the Texas Youth All-Star Football Showcase in College Station and shares what all the buzz is about. Hannah? An estimated 8,000 people will be in College Station this weekend for this event, and many of those are young children participating in these outdoor activities. And with temperatures below freezing, many parents are wondering why this event hasn't been canceled. Below freezing temperatures isn't something Texans experience often. This Texas, we never know what you're going to wake up to. Veterans Park and Athletic Complex is where thousands are gathered this weekend to cheer on youth competing on the gridiron. We're probably at about 110, 115 teams right now. Uh, all different age groups, 7U to 13U. Uh, they're traveling everywhere from uh, Louisiana, all parts of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas. Gene Ballou with the City of College Station says they've monitored the weather and made scheduling adjustments to make sure the games will carry on safely. This was actually originally supposed to be a three-day event, so we were going to have championship games on Monday. Uh, Monday is our worst for our weather, so we uh, canceled those games. Um, and we're trying to get everything finished by 5 o'clock on Sunday. Ultimately, organizers decide whether or not the teams play, leaving some parents happy their kids will compete. I think it's an experience for the boys. Like my husband says, it's, um, they play football in the elements, honestly. So they play in rain, snow, everything. So this is an experience. They're going to play in the cold one day. But other parents say the game should have been moved to a different weekend. I think it should have been postponed, not canceled, because I know the money that went into it. But it definitely should have been postponed. And even though the games weren't postponed, organizers recognize there are some challenges. Obviously, the weather is not ideal, you know, so I know that it's a sacrifice for everybody to be out there. And it's because of these games and the people attending that the local economy is receiving a boost because the city says every hotel room in Bryan and College Station has been booked. Reporting in College Station, Handy King, 25 News.